it's gotta be a joke, right? Like, yeah. sprinting law is definitely like a blessing from God. Um, it definitely allows me more time um, with Jesus. As I'm running to my classes, I'm just like, wow, God is so good. He like provides breath. I am in the best shape of my life. It's so great. And I get to all of my classes on time, which is so important. I mean, you can't sprint everywhere you need to be on this campus in five minutes in the first, it, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I am the head of security at Westmont. I'm in charge of uh, running a tight ship. I'm still taking my time walking uphill when I need to be, okay? I see everyone else trying to, you know, play the goody two-shoes and go back and forth, but no, that's not what I'm, no. I like it. I mean, look at me. I follow the rules every day, and I yell at people who don't. So yes, this law is fair, because if you signed up to come here, then you signed up to follow the laws that the administration puts in place. I mean, how else the theater kids gonna get skinny, you know? A lot of the students here uh, aren't able to follow all the rules. And so uh, it takes a lot of work to get things kind of under control. There's people who work under me, I supervise a lot, and uh, yeah, mainly just <clears throat> making sure the President Beebe's happy. Westmont administration is doing exactly what is right for Westmont at this time. I think it's definitely something that they've come to through prayer. I know we still got a couple track kids that are trying to hit their calorie count, but no, I don't think this is fair both for our physical and mental health, but most importantly for our spiritual health. Honestly, my voice has been a little tired from yelling at so many people who are apparently adverse to running. I think the more uh, students are in enclosed spaces, not wandering around makes my job easier, but it does make people harder to catch. You're looking at the starting shortstop. <laughs> I don't care about the sprinting law. I can sprint. I can sprint. Even if it's a joke, which it, which it better be, right? It's gotta be a joke. Then, I mean, they're, they're messing with us. 
Westmont administration knows exactly what they're doing. It really caters to people who care about their academic learning, like myself. There are lots of uh, flagrant disrespecters of the law. So I say our uh, citations have gone up, which is good for my monthly quota. I'll try to put away about 150 students a month. Get free pizza. What's, what is fair? What's fair? You know what's not fair? Red shirt in your whole freshman year. <laughs> That's not fair. Sit in the bench and pine needles in your ass and sit in the bench. That's not fair. I can handle this, all right? I had this freaking... Who doesn't like pizza? I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but this, this new gen, the, the society we live in, everyone, everyone's soft. You gotta run to class, run to class, freaking pretend there's a Twinkie at the end. Yeah, there are some students, uh, one in particular. Well, I'll let that go to message. Get a hot professor, out of, that's what always motivated me to get to class. I mean, the business and econ department, tip my cap to them, because... Never mind, I can't say that, I'm feeling that. I got, I got a scholarship, yeah. Hey, how much longer is this thing going? Because Rocco and Rocco, they, we gotta wait in 15. I get to spend more time with Jesus, who is the most important man in my life. Um, and yeah, I think not spending so much time like talking in the hallways to like, say like, sport boys. Can I really complain? No. But, I do like, I do like walking to class, you know? Stare a little ass on the way. I have four years of Boy Scout training. I carry extra shoes because fashion is super important to me. So as important as running is, you cannot do it in the wrong shoes. I don't know if you've ever tried that. But yeah, you know, that's another thing that everyone needs to do is carry an extra pair of shoes. Your class is about to end. You know you're going to have to run to the next one. Put them on, people. It's not that hard. I do it every day. One time there was a student who, um, who was running down, uh, downhill and a squirrel ran out in front of him. And they tripped and they skinned their knees really bad. Even if it's a joke, which I hope it is, it has to be a joke. I mean, not everyone's gonna be sprinting around always. Five minutes isn't enough time. I uh, applied pressure until the ambulance came. And probably saved their life. So that feels nice. Well, let me just take you through a little typical day of what goes on in my life. All squirrels here are a little. <laughs> it's mainly. I get up. Tell myself how good looking I am. Highly sexualized and ravenous creatures. I do my hair. I have to say, I'm, I'm not like most people. I, I do wash and blow dry every day. So I have to set aside 20 minutes every day to wash and blow dry my hair. At night, when uh, security cameras are off, then my crew and I go out and we... Uh... When, when, when you expect me to take a hill at 7.30 in the morning, what do you think is going to happen to my hair, huh? This freaking Santa Barbara humidity? I came from the desert. I came from the desert. You know, kill him. This thing's fluff. And back to the business and econ professor. You know she doesn't like that. But then again, but then again, they're, pay they're paying my tuition. They're paying my tuition. This keeps mom's happy. You know, pops is happy back home. I think it's definitely God's plan for Westmont is to have people sprint to classes. What are you writing your essay on? Uh, I'm writing mine on why Nalgene's are better than hydro flasks. Damn, that's heavy. What about you? I was gonna do something more about like the Spanish Inquisition, but Nalgene's are, are cool, I guess. Oh, I just got an email. Oh well, yeah? Yeah. What's it about? Um, Westmont administration it says greetings Westmont community we're proud to announce to you a second law that will guide you in your spiritual and relational lives as of tomorrow all RAs will be required to carry a 180 degree protractor on them at all times to make sure all dorms are open to 45 degrees we hope this change will cause you to invite Jesus into your lives instead of the evil one 
Sincerely, the Westmont administration. So what do you think about the new protractor law? I think it's important to enforce uh, precision in all aspects of our lives. I think the protractor law is going to be a really good thing for our Westmont students. For me personally, it's not an issue and I almost never have boys over in my room unless I have like Bible study or a group project. They're gonna tell me how far I can have my door open. <laughs> I am an RA. I, I don't know if you knew that, but yeah, I'm an RA. So I use the protractor to make sure that the doors are open 45 degrees, which is, you know, honestly, I don't need it because I, I know what 45 degrees looks like, but I understand that some RAs who aren't, <laughs> you know, smart as I am, they, they, they might not know exactly what 45 degrees looks like. You want these RAs, okay, people who are students, to become, to become this new, like, police force even more. Like, they, they, they gotta go through and they gotta, they gotta get this law to the line. No, that's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It's not me you gotta worry about with the protractor law in my room, right? It's the women. I'll tell you what. This just stays confidential, right? All right. I think it will be really good because it's going to help us be more wholesome. Look, with these Christian, Christian girls out here with the 45 degrees, stuff's gonna get exposed. At I don't need it, but I understand the value behind having it. Girl who lives next to me, Jessica. Jessica is in there all the time with her boyfriend at all times of the day. And there's been too many times I've woken up in the morning and I've heard a male's voice on the other side of the wall and that is not acceptable. I wake up early, I'm a morning person. I wake up and I, I do my daily devotions and working my way through the Psalms actually. And I went through RA training, I had to go through the RA applications. It's a very competitive process. Jessica's boyfriend is a senior. He's on the baseball team, and you know what we know about the baseball boys. We win the game, it doesn't matter what, what frickin' degree or Celsius the door's at, they're coming, they're gonna come over. You heard of Levick Field, right? I call that plan B. <laughs> I've heard her crying a lot recently over this new rule, and her and her boyfriend bickering. So this new, the protractor law, whatever, pro rule For me, I... Right now, I need I need a lot of alone time. Okay, there's there's been some huge shifts in my life. I I, I personally need to embrace this time, and it's going to be hard to it's going to be really hard to when when my RA Dave Dave I mean yeah you know Dave's he's a nice guy, but now he's going to be coming over every every second of every day trying to make sure that the door is all the way open. When I want it, I want it closed. Okay. Snowflakes are going to complain. There are a couple close friends of mine who are women and we're just talking about our feelings and that's all it is and I just need it. I need, I need that privacy because I mean, the other person involved is close by and you, I'm not gonna, yeah, okay. I, it's, it's my privacy, it's my, my moment, okay. Do you have any advice for the RAs as they enforce this rule? Yeah, yeah, vigilance. It has not affected me at all because I don't let men in my room. Hypertension? My RA, Dave. Dave. I mean, it's f it's a boomer name, right? It, uh, Dave. How how do I think it's gonna affect his life? Uh, well, there goes Dave's free time, right? <laughs> I, I mean, you're supposed to keep all doors at 45 degrees. <laughs> but you know what? You you know what? Maybe maybe Dave had it coming. I'm not a soccer guy. I'm not I'm I'm not a no freaking English major. But uh. Hear this analogy. Just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score. I remember when I met Dave freshman year, all right, and he walked in with his father, J John, John, and he was like, I love you, John. We get a fuck. Quick feet. 
He's got great teeth, okay? We get it. They're white. You brush twice a day, okay? Some of us forget, okay? You know, I'm, I'm, Jesus, I'm, I... Hey, can you, can you stop? Can you just cut, please? Can you, I... Hey, are you okay? Do, yeah. you, need, do you need water? I think, yeah, like, no, I'm, I just, I'm going through a lot right now. I'm just, <laughs> all right, well, just let us know if we can help you, okay? Karen! I've been praying for Jessica. What do you think about the sprinting law? Well, uh... Um, I know, you know, there's guys that definitely want to be in my room, but... You know, they don't even ask me because they know that I follow the rules. There's this cat girl. Cat, like, cat defaney. Cat. Some, some animal, some animal. Definitely this law. It's basically, it should be the 11th commandment. I was in New Testament class. And, and I see this cuter from across the room, and I go, you know, I do my thing, I tell her I play baseball, yada yada, you know, full ride, whatever. When places start putting in laws like this, the whole thing falls apart. So what, what I'm trying to get at is with this whole situation is, she's wrapped, but she ain't secure. And I can't work my magic. I can't work the D-swag magic. If that door's at a 45 degrees, you understand what I'm trying to do. You understand, right, you understand what I'm saying. I'm a big believer in laws. Um, but yeah, I'm mean, having two in a row, it's, sometimes it gets a little hard to keep up my enthusiasm, but as, as a runner and as an RA, I, I'm dealing with it. That protractor, it's not getting in my way. No, business is a business for me. I'm fine. Anybody in there? Oh, really? oh, Excuse me. Yo, you guys know my vibe. You are not allowed to have your. Whoa, whoa, this, hey, no, no, this is you my have palace. To have it open at 45 degrees. Me, I'm so it is the law. Man. I knocked and nobody answered. This, you this have to theme. abide by the Westmont administration laws. You know what? Ma'am. You're gonna get some Hey, out. yo, this isn't band camp. This isn't band. All right. Hey, Bill. It's me. Yep. I got another one. What? Oh, yeah. North location. Yeah. Okay. I'll meet you outside. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. I'll be right there. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Found this one with his door closed. I knocked and he didn't answer and he had a girl inside. Nice work, Emily. Thank you. You're in big trouble, Clayton Kershaw. You might miss batting practice today. Come with me! No, dude, I'm so, I'm so swamped with this group project. I'm literally doing all of the work myself. No, I know, yeah, no, it's a big group, but I'm doing all the work because I'm the only one who cares about grades. Yeah, no, it's so annoying. Oh, wait, I just, I just got an email from the campus pastor. I think this is important. I want, I, I want to watch it. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello, Westmont community. Scott Lasea here, campus pastor, and I am so excited to announce to you a new addendum to our community life statement. We've been working on it. I'm calling this the addendum, the Scott and Jamie. Here's what it is. In order to graduate Westmont College, you must be engaged before you graduate. You gotta have the ring by spring. If you want to graduate Westmont College, you need to bring a notarized marriage certificate to the registrar's office 
by the time you graduate. Now, some of you are going to struggle and you need some more time. You have to. No, no. You get to stay one more semester with chapel attendance to give yourself an extra chance. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. You know, when I first came to Westmont, I was hopeful that I'd find my quote-unquote Mrs. degree here, um, but you know, I I was at Vespers about a month ago um, when I first <laughs> saw this guy. Um. The protractor law. I thought they were <laughs> I thought they were crazy with the protractor law, but this this is borderline communism. I think it's possible if people are committed and uh, willing to put in the hard work. I know my staff's been working overtime to try to bring people together. So I feel I feel a little alone in the world. Uh, next question, please. He was worshiping in the front, and I was got there a little late. Um, it's a little out of breath from running there, and sing ring before spring. That's a tongue twister. Wishing he was my boyfriend. Well, right now we're just friends. Um, I did invite him on an indie, so we'll see <laughs> where that goes. The people that are for the ring before spring thing. Those are the same people that when I'm sitting in a freaking DC all by myself in the corner with my headphones in watching Netflix, e eating breakfast, minding my own business. Those are the same people that come and just squat their ass right next to me and try to have a conversation. I literally went, wow, <laughs> like Westmont, wow, wow. <laughs> um. Uh, I would say the shiniest, biggest ring you can get is uh, going to be pretty expensive. So watch that. Because uh, debt can be an abattoir around your neck. And you don't want to start a relationship that way. I can speak from experience on that. I'm not even thinking about the marriage. Spring. What's the first thing that goes off in my head when I hear spring? Boom. Baseball. That's it. That's all that's on my mind in spring. Well, why do you think I work as a security guard? You don't think I wanted to be a professional baseball player? I was good. I was, I had a, I had an arm that was uh, lethal. My dad used to uh, have some land and we would throw corn and vegetables and things. And I got pretty strong uh, and I, I wanted to try out for a major league team. But um, I decided that uh, it was more important to buy an expensive ring for my wife, Dolly. <laughs> the, this law, the, I mean, there's the first one and the second one and the third. It just, it's... <sighs> <laughs> Boy, was that a mistake. <laughs> I'm tired. I, I don't know how many more of these rules I can enforce, and honestly, the, the mandatory ring by spring just kind of feels like they're trying to control, like, uh, our entire lives. I mean, the whole relationship was doomed from the beginning. Dolly, uh, she didn't respect my, my desire for uh, a, a well-run home. Administration always got a good intention around this place. It's always good. It's always looking out for the best for us, how, how oh, in the future, Oh, in the future it'll be better. You know what's not in our best interest? Spending five grand on a frickin' rock on your finger. We're in college. He has rejected me a few times, but I think if I just stay persistent um, and keep praying, um, I think it. I think it will happen. I wish that I could say yes, and I know that Westmont administration has. Our, our our best interests at heart, but 
Has anyone ever heard of the Westmont Ratio? I mean, there are so many more girls here. Like, having a mandatory ring by spring makes me feel like I'm on The freaking Bachelor. Looks like I'm not getting a diploma then. <laughs> uh, I just... Is transferring on the table for you? Transferring. What about SBCC? What do, what, what do you know about baseball? I got here to Westmont, and she didn't want to come with me. Dude, aren't you the tech guy? Uh, so, um... <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm more of a uh, fan of manlier sports. Oh, a four eye, four eye. She always has something to say every time you start recording. She's the one doing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as valuable as rules are, and as an RA, I, I understand that, there comes a certain point um, where sometimes the administration can overstep boundaries. Oh, Dolly! Some boys have asked me, but they are not... They are not right for me. You stay back there and work on your damn computer. See you, you freaking stupid. You're s dude. This this isn't even a it's not even a hydro flask. I'm done. Hey, and uh, Wandy, um, room 212, page. I live there. 45 degrees. F it. Um, they do not pay attention in class. Um, they just find me physically attractive. And, you know, that's not what you should be building a relationship off of. You should be building your relationship off of, like, a mutual love and relationship for God. Um, day 97, it's really, it's getting hard out here. But there's, there's, there's a whole, a whole flock, a whole flock of women, really. I think there's enough to really call it a flock and, and they want to get married and I don't, uh, it makes me, it, it makes me think about my dad and our relation, our lack of a relation. I, no, no, no. And you know what? Dave is it holding up his part of the of the of the deal cuz he's the RA and these these women are just banging on my door and I don't want to get married and he's here and and he's not here but he's here when I don't want him to be and I, I'm okay yeah I'm good all right dry it out they've taken it too far i'm just trying to graduate and now suddenly they're trying to tell me i have to get married I can't I can't do that. I have to be my own person and now suddenly they are trying to control my entire life because marriage is the rest of your life and I'm I'm not okay with that. So the Westmont administration right now is too much and I'm ready to stand up against them.